In tennis, sometimes it's talent and sometimes it's coaching. While some are better than others, it's rare for an instructor to be director at a major club at the age of 23, even rarer to be inducted into multiple halls of fame, and then develop more than 250 future college players is almost unheard of. But most coaches aren't Craig Jones. I would say there's very few people who, who get inducted into the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame, and, and Craig is definitely one of the most deserving people um, in the state of Georgia. His, his passion, his enthusiasm, you know, his years of continued uh, dedication to the sport to help grow um, kids, adults, um, everything. It's, it's unbelievable what he's done. He's seen countless numbers go on to play in college and professionally. The roots are so wide and deep in the impact that he has made on so many through tennis. Obviously won a lot of awards. You can look at the stat sheet and they're, and they're all there. But being inducted to the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame is like, I think, the final, the final step of really completing an amazing career. Jones grew up in Macon, Georgia. In his early years, he was an exceptional athlete. During his sophomore year of high school, Jones was a three-sport star at Tattnall Square Academy in Macon. He was a star running back on the football team, a next-level shortstop, and the starting point guard for the Trojans. He didn't even start playing tennis until the age of 14. He was a standout athlete and it came really easy to him. And you know, what didn't really come easy to him, and he even started at a young age of 14, was tennis. And that's what really drove him to be motivated because he was, you know, always the best player on each of those teams that he wanted more of a challenge. And tennis was very challenging and that's what, you know, made him transition and want to focus on tennis and then ultimately, you know, he had scholarships for I think all the sports um, in college and he decided he wanted to play tennis. In his senior year of high school, Jones started to excel at his new sport. He won a single state title at Tattnall Square Academy and went on to receive a scholarship to Gainesville Junior College. While in Gainesville, he found success again, earning the number one seed at the national tournament. The success he found in junior college earned him a place on Georgia Southern's tennis team. In his college off seasons, Jones trained with Savannah pro Wally Norwich. Jones also helped Norwich work with younger players, including Georgia tennis legend Al Parker, the nation's top junior at the time. The experience inspired Jones to go down a new career path. From the start, the, the people he surrounded himself with, the mentor he had, and you know, being able to work with a big name right out of college and, and actually be hands-on as kind of the co-assistant coach, where I believe it was Al Parker, um, who still, I think, has won the most gold balls um, in junior tennis. It didn't take long for others to also realize his true calling. Jones became tennis director at Rome's Cusa Country Club in 1983, a position he would hold for 17 years. In 1987, Cusa had more than 35 state-ranked junior players, the most of any private club in the southern section. As you can see, within a few years of being there, already had developed a program, had kids going to play college tennis, um, grew the adult tennis program, and so I think they took a, ri a risk and, and it was a huge reward. In the late 1980s, Jones became Georgia's Junior Davis Cup coach alongside Rick Davidson. They led the team to 10 straight Southern titles. Jones coached the USTA Southern Boys 18 and under team at the nationwide intersectional tournament. And to, to be a Junior Davis Cup coach, you're working with the best juniors. Okay, but you're also giving back, and I think that's really, really important. After his time in Rome, Jones would move home to Macon and become tennis director at Idle Hour Country Club. The big thing is Rome, Rome was a small town, didn't have a big tennis program at the time, and he goes into Rome and builds this huge junior and adult program out of a, out of a country club, and Idle Hour was another opportunity where there wasn't a big tennis program to come in and teach the game to kids, adults, and grow a junior program to where kids are going off to play college tennis out of a small club. In 2010, his hard work and dedication paid off. He saw his players win five of 10 singles titles at the Georgia Junior Closed Qualifying Championships, the state's top junior tournament. I remember when that was happening, I just go, that's just an incredible uh, accomplishment. I mean, it's, he's from, from Macon, <laughs> and that's not the hotbed of tennis like Atlanta is. And to have half of them win, win that event, to me, it's just a, you know, that's a, the highlight of the, uh, the junior calendar as far as the state of Georgia goes. That, that, to have that accomplishment is just incredible to me. 
Jones's former players throughout the years have included Misty Morris at Georgia Tech, Becker O'Shaughnessy of Alabama, Ariadna Riley of Tennessee, Colt Gaston at LSU, Jess Jones at Clemson, Rebecca Baum at Alabama, Michael Durham at Auburn, and Samuel Barrow of Mercer. I think the level of, of collegiate players that Craig's coach and the number of these coaches have gone to the collegiate level is just an absolutely phenomenal achievement. Craig was the sole reason. You know, he helped develop me as a junior. I think um, he's helped develop, you know, hundreds of other players who, who otherwise wouldn't have had this opportunity to attend uh, college on a scholarship. And so I think we all owe him a, a debt of gratitude and are really thankful for what he's, he's done and the impacts he's had in our life. Jones was the Georgia Tennis Association's Junior Coach of the Year once, Director of the Year once, and Pro of the Year three times. He is a member of the Rome Sports Hall of Fame, the Macon Sports Hall of Fame, and the Tattnall Square Academy Athletic Hall of Fame. I'm very proud of him as far as he's done for tennis. I'm also more proud to be his friend. He's been a great friend for all these years, and uh, as great of a coach he is, he's even more of a tremendous person. My dad is a great instructor. Where he really shines is his impact and relationship he has with every student that comes across. Even the ones that call 20 years down the road saying thank you for the impact you made in my life or thank you for what you did, not just on the court but off the court as a father figure in my life. For almost four decades, he has been one of the state's best instructors and the success of his players has left a lasting legacy on the game of tennis. Congratulations to Craig Jones, a 2020 inductee into the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.